Carolyn Hart, and I'm the chairman of the board for the nonprofit foundation Disabled Artists Foundation. The purpose of our foundation is to improve the well being and energize the disabled through creative arts. There are four different categories that we train and provide the art supplies for individuals photography, painting, jewelry crafting, and paper crafting. In these categories, we have people who are trainers and mentors. We have people who are receiving the art supplies or volunteers for trying to gather the art supplies in these categories. Obviously in the photography category, that's a whole lot harder in gathering the supplies. So we are spending more of that time in the training aspect and many people in the United States anyway, already have phones that they can begin to use as their source of photography. So it's not the end result that really matters in these areas. It's the process of creating. It's that process that you take yourself through in designing the art or thinking through the art or actually doing the art. There's scientific research and some studies that have shown and proven that the process of creating art improves the overall well-being and you can come to our website at www.disabledartists.org and I encourage you to come to our website. Support us on PayPal or Patreon or Amazon or any of the ways that you can support us in, in those matters. If you have direct donations of art supplies, those would be loved. If you want to use our Amazon Smile account because you're already buying stuff on Amazon anyway, that would be greatly appreciated. There's a lot of different ways that you can help us whether it's tiny help or huge help, help us help others. That's what we're looking for. And that's why we're creating this video because if you wanna be a mentor for someone in your area, directly, one-on-one, -on -one, physically, that would be amazing. We're currently developing a mentor list for people who are going to make themselves available before we offer this service to the people who are in those areas. That way we don't have people who want to mentor before we have the mentors available. So that's something that we're currently looking for. Another thing that we're currently looking for are people who are willing to teach. You don't even have to travel to teach. What we're looking for are people who have something to share and we can share those videos and upload those videos directly to the individuals or if they do not have internet at their homes. Social Security Disability, if you're in the United States, is very difficult to live on month to month. So they may not have some of the same things available to them. And by the way, we are not limiting this program to only people who receive Social Security Disability. We want to teach as many people, even if they have a tragic loss and it's, it's an emotional loss of someone that's recently passed away in their family and they want to use art to cope with it. We really want to reach our fingers out and catch as many people as we can that feel like they're falling. We want to be there for the people when they're recently diagnosed and we understand that it actually improves their energy levels when they have something other to talk about besides what they were diagnosed with. We know that the more we help, the better we feel. So help us help them.